everybody, it's your cover girl Bailey Lee and we are here in Saddle River, New Jersey at the Experience Outreach Charity Event with Jamana. Jamana is one of the hosts, right? Yes, I am. Okay, Jamana, tell us why you hosted this event here at your house. Okay, um, the outreach is actually just, it's a foundation that's so dear and close to my heart and my family's. So, you know, we've always attended their events, I've hosted their events um, on a lighter scale, but um, you know, I have to be honest with you, my son's involvement and dedication with the charity has just, you know, put it on such a different level for me. So when they asked me if I had any ideas of where we could hold an event, I caved. <laughs> okay, like, okay, right here in my house, right? Okay, so now, um, what are the expectations for the event? I hear there's a silent auction and a lot of fun things going on tonight. What's gonna, what are you expecting to happen? Well, what I have to say is, um, Dina Manzo actually did an episode of her HGTV show, uh, as one of you know this was one of her segments she took over the decorating part okay. so that kind of helped out a lot actually because I can focus on the charity part of it so I've got a lot going on tonight I'm like oh my gosh look at that oh wow look at how she did that so I'm very excited about that and um, I don't know what surprises Dina has up her sleeve but I hear that there's gonna be like a bronze covered greeter and Oh, wow. Okay. And so what kind of things? Uh, two tables full of every sports memorabilia item you could imagine. We have like from, you know, autographed balls to jerseys to um, photos. Um, my kids are excited because they got their dad's autographed everything. So we've got that. Um, we've got some great live auction items because uh, David Tyree and Alan Houston, being that they're actually part of this foundation, both have put together amazing packages where they could, you know, Four people get to come with them to a game, sit in a suite, meet the players. Sounds nice. So there's some great things that's going to be auctioned off tonight. And then let me tell you, I, mean, I want to know what is it that Jamana is doing in the future? What can we expect from you? I know we've seen you on Extra. We've seen you on Salt and Pepper. So what's going on? Well, there is some actually big things going on right now, but I can't talk about it. But No hints? No hints? Oh, gosh. It's something I never thought I would agree to. Let's put it that way. Really? Okay. So we'll watch out for it. Where should where, where will we hear it about? Hear about it at? Everywhere, probably. Okay. Will you tweet about it first? or I will okay. I will make sure that I tweet about it before the world knows. Okay. And what's your Twitter page so we know? It's Jamana Kid. Okay. It's just my name. One All right. J-O-U-M-A-N-A-K-I-D-D. -D, one word. All right. So it's some hot, juicy stuff coming up. You're going to be involved in it, and we should look out for you. Definitely do, yeah. All right, great. So we're going to have fun here with Jamana Kid at this event, the charity event, uh, you know, uh, auctioning off great things, right? And dancing. We've got Cubby Bryant here agreed to DJ. So we are going to be dancing our little tushies off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Hang in there, guys. Check it out. Everybody, it's your cover girl Bailey Lee, and we are here in Saddlebrook, New Jersey, at the Explore. You tell us what the what the auction is about. <laughs> I'm gonna put that on you. <laughs> well, uh, we have a lot of a lot of things going on. The Experience um, Outreach Foundation is something that three or four years ago, a good friend of mine, Rich, and his son Mahler, came to me and expressed their interest in making um, huge events bigger by outreach giving an outreach to the community by going to the kids the schools the churches um and making huge social and sporting events even bigger by reaching out to the community and have them be connected to it so if you have a a sporting event or a huge event in a city you don't want just the people who attend that event to be impacted you want the whole community whole city to be so impacted. you know what let me make that correction right now experience outreach right and you are um what position do you hold on that foundation i'm just a supporter i'm a supporter i have uh we have the allen houston legacy foundation um that we've been doing for eight to ten years now um but Rich and his son are really good friends of mine, and uh, we, we really hold the same values. Um, and we believe that the way to reach the community is, is, you know, we have very similar views on it. And so I, I love the passion and the, uh, the energy that the Experience Outreach has. Okay, so you're using your celebrity, right, to raise money for children, right, less fortunate. And now um, tell us, what are, you, what are your expectations for tonight's event? Well, hopefully we raise a whole lot of money. You know, yeah, you know. the, so what kind of, what, what are your tactics to raise this money? You guys are having a silent auction. What are you auctioning off? Or sure, yeah, not, a date with I'm you? Not, I haven't gotten that far in, into the planning stage. <laughs> but but uh, just to be here, you know, for, um, you know, Jemana and her family and all the people here to, to lend their home. You know, red carpet in the driveway. It's 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 a great look, and um, 
You know, anytime you can take time out of the summer, and school's about to start, and take your time to really do something like this, I think it's big. And Rich is, you'll see, he has a lot of people who are pulling for him and who are on his corner. Um, and so, you know, if, you, if you'll see there's going to be a lot of creative ways to raise money. Okay, so there's a lot of creative ways, but there's no um, dates with uh, Alan Houston on the table, <laughs> right? None of that. I don't know if there's any day. Now, somebody might come up with something like in a spur of the moment and throw something in the mix. But right now... Uh, so you're prepared for that, right? I'm prepared. I'm prepared. Okay, because it, it might get crazy. Jemana told me. She said you have an interior designer in the house. Yeah. You got a lot of fun stuff going on. So we don't know what to expect. Yeah, so I've been, I've been there before where things just get thrown out. You know, people start getting in the, in the moment. And, you know, next thing you know, you're committing to, to flying across the world with somebody or something. So uh, <laughs> you know, we'll see what happens, you know. But I think... The, at the end of the day, um, to see that families in the community and kids and the schools and, you know, the values of the Experience Foundation will be transferred. And that's, that's all you want. Okay, great. I see you're sticking to the point, and I appreciate that. I'm going to check with you later okay. when you have a few drinks. We'll see how you are then. But I know it will still be consistent. But thank you so much for all right. talking with us. Thank okay. You. Lots. I mean, you want to keep in mind that this is a charity event, so we didn't go too over the top. Lots of things were donated, which I love, um, but we wanted to make it whimsical and we want to make it fun. We didn't want to do such a formal event that everybody was kind of like stuffy and uncomfortable. We wanted to remind people why they're here, so we went with a sports theme and we went with a fun theme to remind us that we're here for the children. Um, so you'll see lots of sports things. My favorite element inside is the bronze moving statue. I don't know if you saw it. Oh, a bronze. I didn't see that yet, but we will catch that. All player, all bronzed out. You don't expect him to move because he looks like a statue, but he starts shooting hoops. It's really cool. Okay, so that was your idea, to have him on. So he's moving, he's shooting hoops. And here was my idea, but um, that's one of my favorite. It's just a very fun, kind of casual atmosphere because at the end of the day, we want this party to be so great that people keep on coming back to these events because it raises money for an amazing cause and it's all about the kids so and shoes, put on a pair of flip-flops and have a good time okay it sounds great now what is your involvement with Jamana what made you jump on board well we actually met at a charity event that was for my foundation project ladybug and she is just so giving of her time and everything else and it's wonderful that she just is the first one to lend a helping hand with an organization like this so we have that in common and when I knew she was running this event you know um, we kind of talked about maybe I can help her out and then it it all of a sudden, and you're all over the place. I was at the Gatsby Salon for the Project Ladybug event there. Yeah, so I know you're you're out and you're about and you're doing your thing. Thank you so much for that, and we're very happy with the things that you're doing. It sounds great. So, um, you know, what advice do you have for other people aspiring to do what you're doing? Um, well, I was just saying how this is, seems to be a very glamorous kind of um, business to be in, but it's a lot of hard work. It's a lot of dedication. You really have to keep your cool. So um, if you're like a real neurotic person, do not get into this business. You kind of have to have a zen attitude. At the end of the day, remember, it's a party. Everybody's gathering to have a good time. It will work out in the end. Okay, and what's new? What's up and coming for you? Um, of course, the show airs September 10th, Dina's Party on HGTV. Um, lots of fun things, a book coming out, a line of accessories for the home. I'm a busy girl. Okay, <laughs> sounds good. I'll be tuning in, okay? Thank you so much for coming on the show. All right, have a great day. In my heart, your love has been safest hiding place Inside is a field And trees and 